Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about that one creepy dude at your locals. Now we had that one creepy dude at, at Groovy Geckos and we had that at the current two locals I go to. And the creepy dude is, um, he, whenever a female would come to the store, he would essentially just, you know, he would say some pretty creepy stuff to um, all the female magic players. Now the, I'll, I'll just give you the real life example in Groovy Geckos. So at Groovy Geckos, there was one dude, and he had a really good collection at the time, and he would always say, oh, do you have anything to trade? So you're also a trade shark. And he actually reached out to me on this channel, and we got into argument again, because he doesn't let stuff go. Uh, essentially, he was such a douchebag, like absolutely douchebag. But a female would come in the store, and then he would, you know, try to trade with a female. Um, but at the same time, like I would listen to some of the conversations. The store was, it was, the rent was $800 a month. So you can imagine the store is not very big and the conversation does carry. Uh, and it gets really, really kind of creepy. It's like, oh, hey, you know, you can come over to my home and I'll show you how to play this game. Or, hey, do you want me to buy you something? You know, do you know I'll buy you this deck that you're playing with. I remember this one time, um, that I, again, we went, it was right, it was a college campus. He didn't go to that college. Um, the college was William and Mary, which is a top college. I think it's one of the top public schools. And William and Mary was, you know, it's a, it a certain type of person goes to that school and they're largely um, extre extremely educated. Uh, I went to NYU for undergrad and I would say that education wise, William and Mary probably gave you a better education. NYU probably gives you a better life experience in college. Uh, definitely was a lot of fun to be young and in Manhattan. I wouldn't do it now that I'm a lot older, but it was a great time. Best time of my life, right? And so I would be playing magic with these students, right? But they tend to be um, a lot younger. And this guy was, he was like 50 or 60 years old. He would just come up and he smelled kind of bad. He obviously didn't shower that day previously or maybe that week previously. And he would be like, oh, hey, look at my tray binder. You want anything? I'll just give it to you. Or uh, one time he was playing Warhammer and we actually did play Warhammer. And a person came in and she was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. And he moves like really close to the point like they're, you know, like it looks like he's hugging her um, and she's getting really uncomfortable. And he always like, oh, do you want to come back to my place and I'll teach you how to play Warhammer? And I was like, dude, what the F? Like, you know, and at this time, um, I was a lot different in personality. Obviously, this was back in the old sharking ages, and I was a lot more aggressive. And I didn't, I was not casual at all about Matthew Gathering as I am today, where it doesn't really matter what um, the value of cards anymore to me. And it mattered a lot. Uh, it doesn't really matter if I win games, lose games. I mean, ideally, I would do something cool at the FNM, not necessarily go 4 0, but do something cool. I would either trade doing that something cool versus going forward out. Um, back then, I would not, never have even thought about that. Although at the same time, I was playing five years back then as well. But it was actually the better version of her. It was a, a blue-white human deck that was semi-tier one with Geist. A very, very strong deck, Delver. No, actually it didn't have Delver, it had Geist. There were two versions of it. There was the Delver version, and then there was the um, Geist version with the humans and uh, that was a very good deck too. But it was just very creepy for everyone involved. Um, we never really saw too many female players after like they spoke with him. And I remember going to the anime club on, and this was like my first year of grad school. Not even my first year, like my first, um, one of my friends wanted to go see this anime movie. I was like, all right, I'll go with you. Because uh, he went to undergrad at William Mary and then he went to grad school with William Mary, and I was like, all right, cool, whatever, we'll just chill out. And he was my next door neighbor too, so I didn't really know that many people at the time because they were so new. So I went to the anime club, and there, there, I mean, there was a lot of grad students at the anime club, and I would say 50% of them were grad students. Uh, but the same dude who played Magic showed up, and literally the guy's like 60 years old, and he's the t-shirt he wears to the Magic store, I would say is inappropriate. I made a video about inappropriate play mats. I would say this was highly inappropriate even for me. Obviously, you know, I'm a fan of anime. So anime does push 
um, certain um, limits. Uh, this one was way beyond that, right? And then he's just like hitting on everyone at the anime club. I was like, dude, I'm not coming back here again, um, never again. And I just thought that every store had somebody like this, because even when I was at NYU, we have, at Battlefield, there was this random dude who acted and behaved in the exact same way I described. So leave me a comment below. Does your store have someone like this? Or maybe they're a little different. Um, I would love to hear your stories about this creepy dude in the massive back. He's not in the back. He's actually in the front of the store. And uh, yeah, Magic. the one thing I love about Magic Gathering is you get to meet people from all different walks of life. And that's really cool. But some people you meet in Magic the Gathering don't really have the uh, advanced social skills. Not, I'm not saying I have great social skills. I'm just saying that this is like, you have average, then you have below average, then you have the creepy dude at your Magic store who is um, getting in, you know, very close, like, you know, doesn't understand, hey, this is, you know, the closeness I want to be to you. And you kind of smell and, um, and <laughs> my current store has, my previous store, which I ranted about, had someone like that as well. And, um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, bye guys.